Yo, what is up guys? Pigmento here. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be talking about how to qualify yourself for the FNCS uh, qualifiers, you know. Um, well, that's the first thing. So, you know, you need to get champs. That's very simple. But to get to these semifinals, to get to these finals, to get to the heats, to get to the grand finals, right? So, how can you do that? You know, what are some of these strategies? So, we're going to take a look at some of these things. Um, first off, I'm sure all you guys, hopefully most of you guys should know this. You do need to be in champs to participate um, and um, depending on your time zone there's gonna be three uh, three things in the same day you have open semis and finals in the same day um, I think most of you guys played this first day um, August 1st um, maybe you guys did not quite qualify or do as good as you wanted so maybe you guys are checking this video out so we're gonna talk about some of the play styles that some of these people used to get to these finals right to uh also place good in finals and qualify themselves for the heats or maybe even just get the series points so they can uh, accumulate them up and also get into the heats as well so first thing before i look at the games what happens before that is your warm-up routine so first off i'd recommend you guys get something to eat before you play because there's a lot of solos you got two hours here two hours here and you got three hours here so if you're not eating you're gonna play bad you're gonna get tilted easily so eat a little bit before you get on i'd say that's the first thing maybe not too much but at least a light snack right so you're not super hungry next thing i would get on maybe half an hour before um an hour at most before you don't want to be playing too much because if you make it all the way to finals you're playing seven hours of tournament you know maybe eight right if you count that overlap game so you got to be careful that you don't play too much because then you're just, uh, your reaction time, everything's going to start falling off uh, once you play that much. So, uh, I'd get on half an hour to an hour before. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but if you don't have a warm-up routine, what I'd recommend, if you're on PC, mouse and keyboard, you have Kovacs. Definitely Kovacs before you get on. Um, and I do this every single day, but then especially before the tournament, so you can get some good aim in the tournament. Especially if you want a W key maybe first game. <laughs> you need to make sure you have good aim. So you're winning all these engagements. If you're controller, I would also maybe do a little bit of aiming. Maybe you could do an aim duel with a friend, or maybe you could do Shavox. Uh, it's like the aim map. I can put the code in the description for you guys. Um, if you're on mobile, same thing, right? If you're on console, well, you're on controller, right? Same thing. I do a little bit of aiming for that warm up, right? <clears throat> and then next, find a good friend. You know, maybe you can find a friend that's better than you definitely do it you can do some 1v1s um with the charge i'd say especially because you guys maybe suck with the charge shotgun you may not be able to find a tactical shotgun uh before you get into an engagement so there are ways to get the charge shotgun not in creative fill or in creative fill without a creator code so i can de definitely link those videos as well but i would do realistics with that charge shotgun um so you can get some good warm-up and with that, you know, more difficult shotgun as well, right? So, I would do that. And then, now you're going to get into your games, right? You guys need to find a drop spot. Maybe your drop slot's going to vary from opens to semis to finals, right? So maybe in opens, you can go somewhere... Uh, somewhere, somewhere that's maybe slightly contested, uh, right? That maybe has pretty good loot. Like, let's say Shark, for example, right? That's where I go. It is... It's, it's pretty chilling in opens you know there's like maybe one kid but they probably suck right so you can go shark you know you're chilling right um but maybe once again to semi-finals or finals there may be some better players there so you got to be careful but in opens if you're not confident in your ability please don't go caddy you know please don't go 30 you're gonna run out of games quickly you know two hours seven games uh don't resort to w king um Another thing, with this format, you know, the points appear very low. You're like, oh, I only have three points. Shoot, I'm doing bad. Actually, you know, maybe not. You know, all the points are much lower. 33 points for a win, now 14. So, you know, all these points are like uh, a third of what they normally were. So, don't feel like, oh my god, I'm doing bad. I have to W he. No, save your games. You got to play them out. You know, if you get a win, if you get a second place, a third place, that's where the placement is too, again. Fifth place, right? Another placement there. Tenth place even. You know, if you get some of these placement thresholds, that's a lot of points, you know? So if you can make it to endgame, maybe a couple games, 
get these consistent placement points racking up, you know, you're going to get more kills in the end game too. Maybe there's going to be someone with no mats you can find, right? So don't resort to W King. That's what a lot of people did. A lot of people ran out of games, did not qualify for the next round. Okay, next. So opens, you can land pretty much anywhere. I would not land somewhere too hot because they're going to be over populated just because it's the opens tournament right anyone in champs so you know pleasant bark there may be like eight kids you know a little unrealistic so maybe don't go pleasant in opens you know maybe you go pleasant some games but if you die you know you got to have a backup for opens because in opens dying off spawn i think is the main problem okay next let's talk about semis so you made top 3000 top 2000 top 1000 right in your region you know depending on what it was now you're in the semifinals. Now you have top, uh, like you have 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 people, right? So all these people are decent. I'd say they're okay. But once you get to that lower half, I'd say most of these kids are bad. So if you're confident in your gameplay, I would do smart pushes. Let's say you get some tags on this person. You know, they don't look super good. You know, maybe they landed somewhere shambles. Push, push, push that. You know, it's your first game. If you die, whatever, you're going to get into another bot lobby, right? But, let's say maybe you're not too confident. Don't force yourself into fights. But, you need Storm Surge. In the semis, I think a lot of people got surprised by Storm Surge. Something that I found really annoying. Um, people would get Storm Surge instead of rotating. So, common mistake. You got to rotate early, okay? Rotate early into zone and get yourself some tags uh, once you're based up in zone because people will be running at you. Please don't shoot kids on the rotate, you know, because they're going to box up. They're going to shoot at you and, and then you may have to box up, right? You know, now you're stuck. Now you're both stuck. Storm's closing in. You know, n both of you guys are not in zone. It's not quite going to work out. You got to be careful at who you shoot at on your rotates. Especially, some kids will get emotional. You know, you shoot them once. Now, hey, guess what? You're in a box fight. You're dead. Oops, you know. Or maybe you kill them, but then a third party kills you, right? Not a good situation to be in. So, and once you make the finals, um, some of you guys may be in finals, but if you're watching this video, maybe you did not quite make it to finals and you're a little disappointed. You know, maybe you want to make it to finals, right? Where the money is, right? So, um, it's the semis. Getting to the finals, that's the hardest part, I'd say. Um, you just gotta play consistent, make sure you don't run out of games, okay? You may have spawn more, because maybe there's uh, less people going your POI, but they're good. I think that's the main thing. So, they're good, so you gotta be careful. Uh, pr uh, expect that you're gonna die of spawn, you know, a couple times, right? So that way, you have extra games, maybe. You know, you have a little cushion. So, once you make the finals, now maybe you may have to find a new spot. You know, for me, there were three kids landing shark. I think it was Wavy Jacob and someone else. I'm like, that's 50-50. You don't want to dive spawn in finals, right? Only six matches. Everyone's in the same match. If you dive spawn, you get no points. I'd rather, you know, survive till I'm top 75, get that one placement point, right? That would be way more than any of these other kids. So, um, you may need a change if you drop for finals. That's okay. Guess what? Let's go to lootlake.info. Let's go right here. Boom. It's also Fortnite GG. So, this is how uh, you can find some uh, loot rats, right? So, go to this. Drawings, okay? See where my cursor is here. Boop. And then let's go to... You can see some of these other ones that people made. You know, you can look at this. His loot route and rotations. Perfect, that's great. Um, you know, you can take a look at some of these ones here. Okay, look at this. So, you can go some Camp Cod ones as well. That's nice. Um... Like, look at these, you know, you can see all these that other people have made. 50 arena and cup drops. Okay, this is a good one. I think maybe this is one I was looking at. Once the page loads. Oh, this is sad. This is quite sad. You can see, actually, this month. There we go. That's what I want. Sorry, plus 95 loot paths. This is the one I wanted. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is the one I found shark drop from. Look at this. You land shark, you get the island. You come down to this uh, conch shell island. So that's a great drop. That's how I found landing at shark, right? You know, you can see, you can zoom in, see how you can maybe get part of this yacht, right? Hit this geyser, maybe come over to bridge. You know, you can get this bridge. So definitely check this out. I will link this in the description. Or you can go 
two drawings. You have to go to this month, and then plus 95 loot pass, right? Okay, so back to Fortnite. We're going to take a look at some of these games that qualified people for the finals, because I think that's where the majority of you guys are stuck. Opens the semis. I think most of you guys made it. Um, if not, you just got to work on winning off spawn. Because then, once you win off spawn, it's pretty easy to make it. Oh, sorry, the semis. All I want is top 100. Let's take a look at someone that placed 100. Let's see. Average placement, 39. Average yields, 2. Okay. Let's take a look at their games. Um, they died mid-game mid way too much. You know, if they can eliminate 1, 2, 3 of these games, I think that helped them. This one was probably W key game, so I guess that's okay. Um, first game, not too good. But guess what? You know, first game wasn't too good. But guess what? Next game, he did good. 17th and 4 kills. But he didn't go full W key. He didn't die, you know, maybe at like 80th, right? So if you don't have a good first game, that's okay. You know, look at this. He survived for 24 minutes. Wow, that was a really stacked second game. Um, so, you know, next game you can get some placement, get some kills, right? Uh, so don't don't full W key down three games. This was a really good eighth. That was a lot of points. First and four kills, another game with a lot of points. So uh, this placement is actually worth a lot, you know. You just got to get to this placement which comes very late. Let's take a look at this guy. He had an okay first game, all right. Fifth and five kills, really good. You know, and he keeps it up consistent. 13 three kills, 13 three kills. This game, he died of spawn. It's okay. You're allowed a, a die off spawn game, right? You know, because you have seven games in six hours. You could probably die off spawn twice. This game, he died mid game. So five minutes, you know. So that was just two games, right? That's all you're allowed. So that's fine, that's great, you know. Um, command on. Let's see what you did. Only five matches. Um, you played pretty much see all five of these out. So if you do do good, you know, you can you can uh, have a lot of extra games. So this is very consistent. Look at this consistency: 18 and 2, 13, 4, 4, 2, 21, 2, 10, 3. Look at all these placement points you got. Let's take one more look at the format. Wow, look at this. We can't quite see it all, but. 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 75. That's what it is. So you get a lot of placement. And look right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you get 6 placement points more than someone that got just top 10. Right? So if you can survive until in these late, late stages, you can get a ton of points. But, you know, maybe let's say you're getting 30, 40. You're not quite capitalizing as much as you can. So the points are showing as less, but you guys got to, you know, be confident in yourself because you guys got this, you know? It shows that you have less points, but you just got to stay consistent. Look at this, fourth, eighth, ninth. Really good. You don't have too many kills. That was a lot of kills that first game. That was great. Um, but you just got to stay consistent with these placements. You need probably three top 15 games. That's what I'm saying, to push you to finals, right? I'd say it's the main thing. That's the hardest part. Um, in the finals, so um, we can take a look at some of these games. Let's take a look at top 50, because that will get you two heats. So, he really just had one good game. So never give up. One good game can really help you out. I think that's one thing we can learn. He only had three points, and then he got the win. So he was probably last place, and then he got the win, pushed him to 50th, qualified for heats. I have no clue if this is the real phase dubs, <laughs> but okay. 36, 21, a couple kills in there. You know, so that's okay. He's breaking into these barriers. Um, here, he maybe got, what, five points from placement. So that's pretty good, you know. Um, it, it, a little bit here, a little bit here. Riverson, you know, good, a pretty good game there. Good game there, a couple kills. 15th, really pushed through all those placement points. You can see, boom, he got all the way to that 15th one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he got six placement points that game, and uh, I think some Elon points as well. So I think qualifying for these stages is really easy. You guys gotta just figure out how to play it. It's a different format, you know. Um, also, unlike the open semis finals, it's different that way, and the points are different. You know, points are lower. You know, don't don't lose faith in yourself even though like it shows you have less points right so play your best i know all you guys can actually qualify um if you guys need to work on some things i'd say it's probably mechanics um so just grind some box fights with the charge especially some charge mechanics i think are lacking 
for most people this season. Just play with the charge, you know? Um, you got to get used to it because you're going to use it a lot. And the charge is better than the attack. 100%. I can tell you that. But you just got to learn how to use it because you can hit these maybe, you know, 160s, 200s with them. So you got to learn how to use it. Um, you just got to peak your angles uh, smarter and uh, you just got to be a little more careful about it. But um, I hope you guys qualify yourselves for the FNCS. I wish you guys some good luck. Um, even if you just make it to semis every week and you do good in semis, I definitely think you guys can qualify for the heats and then maybe even these grand finals, right? Uh, heats, top 25, make it to the grand finals. So that's, I think that's pretty easy, honestly. Um, you can just do okay, right? And you'll make it there. So that's good. Um, you just gotta keep a calm mindset as well. You know, seven hours of souls a day. That is pretty, pretty hard. You know, maybe chew some gum. Maybe chill with your friends. You know, like I was in a Discord call with about 10 people. You know, we were all vibing. It was all right. I got headshot sniped. You know, it was okay. I was a little triggered. Then my friend got headshot sniped. You know, so we're like, oh, we're in together, you know? So maybe you need to do that, be in a call, chew some gum, you know, maybe pet your dog, you know, take a quick break, you know. Definitely take a break in between all these three rounds. Please do that, you know. But anyways, I think that's it for the FNCS video. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys can qualify yourselves for these uh, semis, finals, heats, and grand finals.